Hi artists, we are going to take a little quiz to see how well we understand the difference between abstract art, realistic art, and non-objective art. Now, we're gonna do this using sign language, which is why those hands are up on the screen right now. You're going to sign either an R, an A, or an N, depending on what type of art you think you see. So when a painting comes up on the screen, you will either show me R, which is your fingers crossed facing forward, or A, which is your hand closed, your fist closed, not this, this is S. You have to have your thumb on the side, or N. N is taking two fingers down. Three fingers down is M, N is two fingers down. So that's what you will sign for me. And all of these words are on each screen to help you remember what it is you're looking for, okay? So we're gonna start with our first one. I'm gonna move this up here so I'm not in the way. Is it R or A or N? Realistic, abstract, or non-objective? Show me with your hands what you think this is. Yeah, it's realistic. The Mona Lisa, it's probably the most famous painting in the entire world. And it really was a portrait of um, a woman um, and painted very realistically. Okay, second, R, A, or N. Realistic, abstract, or non-objective. Yep, this is not objective. It's not a picture of something. This, I love this artist and I love this painting, but it's not a picture of something. You can't say, oh, that's a nice house because it's not. Okay, R, A, N. Which one do you think? Hold it up. Keep those cameras on so I can see you. This one is abstract. You can tell it's a face. You can see facial features, but obviously it's not realistic. So we put this into the abstract category. Next, this is called Girl with a Pearl Earring. There's also a movie of this. R, A, or N. R, A, N, oops, N. Yeah, this one's the easiest. This category is really easy. I mean, it looks real. You can tell what it is. It's realistic colors. It looks real. Easy. Realistic, abstract, non-objective. R, A, N. Which is it? Yes, that's abstract. No one has green skin. You can tell it's a woman. Her clothes could be realistic, possibly. But the color of her face makes that abstract. Another one of my favorite artists, Henry Matisse. Love him. Realistic, abstract, non-objective, R, A, N. Non-objective, it's not a picture of anything. This kind of art is very popular for sure. It's very decorative, it's beautiful to um, put in your home, to look at. You can see lots of interesting things going on, but it's not a picture of anything. Just shapes, just colors, still awesome. R, A, N, which one? Come on, that's easy peasy. It looks like you could grab one of those apples and eat it. Totally real looking. Realistic, abstract, non-objective, which category? Yep, non-objective. Again, shapes don't mean it's an object. Squares, circles, triangles, those aren't objects, they're shapes. That's the difference. Realistic, abstract, non-objective, which one is it? Yeah, abstract. This is called the three musicians. You can see why they're playing instruments. They've got music, but obviously not realistic. All right, I think this is my last one. Which one? Yeah, this is non-objective. This is probably one of the most famous um, non-objective artist. His name is Jackson Pollock. He kind of started the movement, 
kind of, um, by literally splattering paint. He put it down on the ground and splattered buckets of paint all over. And people thought he was nuts. People thought that this is not art. Any kid can do this. But he did plan his colors and where he put it and, and how he made the paintings feel. And so it, it was very, very important art.